Hey, good morning. We're on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange with Jim Cramer, and earnings season is heating up. Jim, let's get your reaction to Alphabet. Okay, Alphabet was, uh, you know, it's one of those things where they're doing more volume, but they're not making as much on it. But I, I urge people to take a longer term view and say, okay, look, uh, if people, 1.5 billion people are watching an hour of YouTube a day, do you really think they're not going to be able to monetize that correctly? This is a situation where a lot of people feel like this could be Facebook a couple years ago, where they where desktop tipped over to mobile, and mobile's not that value, uh, valuable. So go sell it if you want to. I think the sellers are going to use this as a source of funds. I like the company very much. It's got we've done some good analysis for action alerts. It's, it's got about 90 billion in cash. You know, it, it, it is uh, a cash machine. It could pay that fine without any problem from Europe. Uh, it is true that it's, they're not making as much per click, okay? But they are monetizing so many others. The call itself did not do the company justice. And uh, you know, don't forget about Waymo, they're way ahead. Mm -hmm way, way ahead in autonomous vehicles, but I'm not going to stand there and defend the quarter right now. I'm going to let you sell it. Let it come down. All right, and let's move on to Caterpillar's quarter. Caterpillar's the opposite. Caterpillar's just a complete blowout. I mean, there's just no doubt about it. The Caterpillar not only is back, but I would go far as to say the Caterpillar can go to 120 on this call. I mean, you're going to start talking about numbers, six, seven dollars, and uh, a lot of this is resource-based. They've taken out a gigantic amount of costs. They can make so much more money on their sales, and the sales are really going forward. The construction numbers were awesome. Uh, it, Cat took a lot of people by surprise. There was an analyst yesterday who upgraded it uh, and gave a very high number, and his number was nowhere near what the company was able to do. Uh, congratulations to Cat. You have really figured it out. The resource business is good, construction business is good, engine business is good, engine, the read through there is Cummins, Cummins is by CMI. Hmm. All right, what about United Technologies? United Technologies, I think that this is a company I would take advantage of any weakness. Why? Because uh, while Otis was flat, I really liked their H, their heating, ventilation, air conditioning number, residential, very good. Don't forget, they're shipping a lot of these gear, gear turbo fans, the GTF, that is uh, going to be a great amount of business for them down the road. Uh, cash flow, very, very good. Stock had run in anticipation. It's a much better company than one that we own right now for Action Alerts, GE. What about General Motors? General Motors is really, I mean, in the end, I don't like the car companies. It really doesn't matter what they report. I just don't like them. I think they generate a lot of cash, but they don't deploy the cash in any way that really favors the shareholder. I think that Mary Barra, uh, you, she got out of, uh, of Europe, just want to think Europe's going to soar. I'm very pro, I'm very pro Europe. Mm. I'm very pro the Euro. We own a security that gives you the upside to Europe, and she got out of Europe. That makes no sense to me. And some incredible comps from McDonald's. McDonald's at 6.6 .6 overseas is amazing. I have been saying that Easterbrook is a miracle worker over and over again. My contacts with him indicate that this is a guy who has got the franchisees behind him. He's energized it with a more simple menu. He's got some specialty sandwiches. He's got a value for soda. Uh, but what he's really done is cleaned up the stores. Uh, and this is done because the franchisees get energized. They start, start putting more sta uh, staff on. They start, uh, they get, they buy in. And when they buy in, look at these magnificent numbers. Uh, this is off a base where people, the franchisees had kind of just said, you know what, I, I think I'd rather be affiliated with other chains. No longer, the burgers are selling. There's a note from Credit Suisse saying Apple services revenue could double by 2020. Nothing new there. I mean, that's pretty much what they're saying. So I don't think that that's uh, any news at all. I just think it refers directly to what Tim Cook's been saying. All right, we also have a city investor conference. City, uh, I'm going to have Mike Corbett on my uh, Mad Money tomorrow night. Uh, city is uh, the cheapest of the major banks on a tangible book value, which is how I value banks. In other words, if you close the door, how much cash do they have? People do not, it's, it's finally above tangible book value, which just raised to 67 and change. Uh, city has a ton of money. And they're able, they, they went from worst to first in terms of what the uh, feds are doing uh, with what's known as CCAR. Mm. Uh, they are uh, the model bank. Um, they have uh, the ability, the firepower to buy back 7% of the bank every single year. And it's still a buy, uh, even though it's had a tremendous run. City is still the cheapest. In terms of earnings momentum, just so you know, PNC is the best. In terms of value, City is the cheapest. We look forward to your interview with Michael Corbett. And then on Mad Nash on Squawk in the Street, you talked about Jimmy Choo. Yeah, Jimmy Choo, uh, this is a big overpay. I think Coors is desperate. 
Uh, I think that this asset was worth far less. It traded at far less a few years ago when Jimmy Choo was obviously doing better in the mall. So I think Coors paying this much will do Coors no good. This is not Coach buying Kate Spade. This is a bargain. Coach buying Kate Spade was a terrific move. Diversify a little bit away from Coach. I think the Coach is still a buy. I think Coors is still a sell. And for your stock trading segment, you talked about Freeport McMoran. Yeah, Freeport is uh, amazing. This is a copper play. Copper is exploding. Uh, copper is one of the raw costs in the United Technologies call. Is that where it's true the commodities are going up in value? Freeport actually beat on revenues, which is rather extraordinary. This stock, which I said at 12, was done going down, is not done going up. Ah, all right, Jim, we talked a little bit about Facebook earlier, but what are you expecting from their earnings? You know, look, I think Facebook has been chilled by Google, uh, by Alphabet. I think that Facebook, I hope that the stock comes down and comes down handily ahead of that quarter because I think that no matter what they say, everything's going to be colored by Alphabet because Fang right now is taking a breather. We also have Boeing reporting on Wednesday. Yeah, Boeing, you have to be very careful. Boeing reports a number. People usually go nuts for it, uh, and then the call starts and they rein in expectations. Please be very careful if you're trading Boeing. And one more for you, Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola, this is a new CEO. Uh, we don't know what he's going to be capable of doing in the end. It's a premium, to, it sells at a premium to PepsiCo, but it is not growing as fast as PepsiCo. But they do have an asset light model where they are laid off a lot of people and they certainly are just being, you know, kind of a syrup company that makes a ton of money. And Jim, we know you're going to be hanging out at Bar San Miguel tonight. Yeah, tonight we're going to go over. Tim Collins uh, is going to be with me. He uh, uh, d- does uh, tremendous work for us with options, uh, and he will be uh, doing off the charts tonight. And I, we, it's one of his charts, and I think that people should recognize Collins is a lot of fun. My wife will be there. Uh, if you haven't signed up, I think you should sign up. There will be opportunities to be able to talk with me, take pictures. The food's good. The booze is free, just in case you think, well, hold it, maybe this isn't the value. Uh, we had sold out crowd last time. I really want to see you at Bar San Miguel, 307 Smith Street, F, F- Stop, Carroll Garden, uh, for Carroll. It's in Carroll Garden. It's a really cool place. I think you'll really like it. All right, that's tonight. Click the link for tickets. Jim Kramer, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, for more information on the stocks to mention, please head back to thestreet.com.